Rocks, solid and non-living matter, are made up of minerals and come in all shapes and sizes. Some examples of them are gold and quartz. Streak is a property that allows us to identify different minerals, even when minerals of the same type come in different colors. Luster is a property that tells us how mineral reflects light. A mineral can be shiny, greasy, dull, etc. Minerals can also be classified by their hardness from 1 to 10, where 10 corresponds to the hardest stones, like diamonds. Almost everything we use is made from minerals or contains minerals in some form. For example, a coin is mostly made from minerals, and even all of our electronic devices use minerals for cables or circuit boards and other electronic components. There are very rare minerals from Earth, such as rubies or emeralds. Jewelry is normally made from these uncommon minerals. Minerals are not just found in rocks, they can often be found in some food, too. Ingesting mineral-rich food, like fruits and vegetables, helps you stay energized and healthy. Rocks come in all shapes and sizes. If you take a closer look, you will see that sand is made up of trillions of tiny rocks, whereas mountains are often gigantic rocks. There are three main rock types. Igneous rocks. These rocks are formed when magma cools down, such as granite, obsidian, or quartz. Some of these rocks are utilized in construction. Sedimentary rocks. These rocks are made of sediment, which are tiny pieces of rock that settle at the bottom of water and are slowly hardened over time. Sandstone and limestone are also used in constructions for building bricks. Metamorphic rocks. These rocks are a combination of igneous and sedimentary rocks. Heat and pressure work together to combine all minerals and form metamorphic rocks. These rocks are used for roof tiles and statues. Salt crystals are rocks that contain crystals. Melting and cooling processes create a three-dimensional pattern that gives the rock a regular shape and flat sides. Soil is made up by rocks of different sizes, fallen leaves and the remains of dead organisms. This part of the earth is located between the rocky layers and the atmosphere. Not all soils are the same. There are nutrient-rich soils that allow plants to grow and are soft and there are soils that are strong and can even support buildings. We organize soil into different layers. The first layer, which is located at the top, is called topsoil. The topsoil layer contains rock particles and the remains of plants and animals. Plants grow in the topsoil. The second layer, the low topsoil, is called subsoil. Subsoil mainly consists of larger rocks, and water from precipitations is stored here. The third layer of soil under the subsoil is called bedrock. Bedrock is the hardest part of soil and it provides raw materials as rocks break down. Humans must take care of soil because this is where we plant and build. Soil can be enriched by creating composts that provide nutrient-rich soil capable of absorbing water and sustaining plant life.